Okay, let's open this. 15 Rubik's Cubes. That's a lot. MPJS Meilong is one of the cheapest on this list, so we'll get started with this one. I have to touch I mean, that's what they have done with this. No plastic wrap. And obviously, the accessories box, which I'm not gonna take out. Let's get into this. Hmm? Wait a minute. The first thing that I'll say is it is very dry, extremely dry. However, that's not the major problem that I see in this cube. First terms were very unexplainable. Unexplainable. It is very dry and it is very tight. When I stretch it, it doesn't seem to be as tight. But corner cutting says immediately that it's a bit tight, so loosening will help a lot. M layer is not that great out of the box. Yeah, let's check the corner cutting. 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. Okay, it can't. I know that it can cut at 45 degrees. It's just tight at the moment. And I don't know why Moyu cubes usually are tight out of the box. All of these cubes today have to pass the test of sub 9. My look ahead, flash, 8.74. So this cube passes the task. <laughs> why? I'm, I'm just asking why. Why this kind of a package? And this logo is super weird. It looks like the graphic designer didn't work on this. It looks like that I designed it. Yeah, I'm bad at graphic design. Okay, whatever. Let's get into the turning style. Right away, I'm gonna say the feeling isn't that bad. Plastic does not seem to be that cheap. If I get too aggressive on it, it feels like it's gonna pop on me. I don't know why, but I feel that way. So let's check the corner cutter because I get tons of catches on it and I really wonder why is that. <sighs> what? It just can't. I mean, sometimes it can, but sometimes it cannot. Immediately, I say a huge no to this cube. Okay, 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 okay. This was my fault. This was my fault. 10.32. That was my fault. And Cube's fault as well. It was a bit slippery. It was getting out of my hand. And also, at the start, I couldn't see my first pair. And maybe we could get around 9 seconds, but whatever. I still say no to this cube because I think Meilong is far better than this. Cube stand, which is appreciated. These center caps, it just doesn't make any sense. Why would you make such cube? What is the point of that? Okay, whatever. Let's get into the turning style. Feeling not bad. Sounds a bit crispy, still glidey, but kind of crispy at the same time. This one also feels dry, however, when I look into it, I see that there's some residue of lube, so it's uh, partially lube. When the cube is tight, we know that we are limiting the corner cut by that. If the corner cut is limited and the cube is tight, but still the cube is extremely flexible, that means that it's not great. Yeah, just like that. And that's exactly the case here. The pieces aren't in their place, it just goes all over it and I can't control it as I would like to. Eight point sixty six. Not that bad, but not that great. It's somewhere in the middle. The next cube on this list is the MFJS Meilong V two. No plastic wrap again. We are not taking this box out of this again. Let's get into this. A bit confused because I don't see a huge difference. 
now I see it. This is faster, feels more airy and light, but not that much of a difference between these two cubes. The older version feels heavier, slower, also tighter. There is one thing that I want to say, and that is if I set up these cubes, I think I'll be able to take both of them to the same condition because they feel kind of same it's just uh, one of them is heavier one of them is slower one of them is tighter and when i set up i'll be able to make them closer to each other mm, fast yeah okay fast 9.29 This is ultra heavy, extremely heavy. It's been a really long time since I haven't touched such heavy cube. I wanna see what's the weight of it. Almost 89 grams. That's a lot nowadays. I can see myself I can see myself getting tired with this cube after 20 solves. This cube is too old and it just doesn't fit today's standards. That's what I say. It's not a bad cube, but you shouldn't get this. And the next cube on this list is the RS3M 2020, a well-known speed cube. Drive. And that was expected. Okay, so immediately I can say that this is the best among the ones I've unboxed. Let's check the corner cutting at 55 degrees. Yeah, it can cut. Oh, I hate this PLL. I hate it. I always mess it up. 8.80. Eight point eighty four. This thing, as always, I don't understand what it is. It is supposed to be the accessories box, but it doesn't seem to be an accessories box. A bit loopy on the outside. That disgusting, but whatever. From my reaction, you can tell that I don't like it. Very slow, yeah. It's tight, yeah. Very tight. Maybe that's because to avoid popping issues, you should make your cubes looser. Nine point seventy nine. I tried my best. This cube reminds me of Aristoyam Super and Meilong as well. It's very glidey. It's not crispy or crunchy or anything like that. It's very glidey, very smooth. I can say that this cube is one of the best cubes in these. It's tight, but still the corner cutting of it is pretty great. I was not expecting it to cut at 45 degrees. The downside of this cube though is that it doesn't have some fancy dual adjustment system. What? Eight point seventy-eight. I have never tried GMS and I'm super excited to try it because from other people and reviewers, I know that it has crunchy type of turning style. It's not crunchy. I was expecting it to feel like Walk 3M. Walk 3M has that type of a feeling like scratchy and crunchy and I was expecting this cube to be like that but that's not the case. And this cube has quite strong magnets and every turn is like it's being clicked into its place. 
we don't talk about this. So this cube has dual adjustment system because we got this. So guys, I'm recording this video for an hour and I still have five more cubes to unbox. Have you guys ever noticed that I never ask in my videos to subscribe to my channel? Yeah, and now today I'll ask for it. Subscribe to my channel, guys. I just want to see if it makes any difference. Color shades are the same as the first version and I do not like this type of blue. It's more like a sky blue, which I don't like. Let's get into the turning style. I don't know what's going on with you, Shin Cubes, but I don't like them. I actually think that V1 is a bit better than V2. Yeah. Next on the list is Moyu R3M Super 2022. Yeah, very good cube. This is a blocky type of uh, cube. The Ice Twin 2020 is more like a flexible cube, whereas this a bit compact. And of course, let's check the corner cutting. At 45 degrees, mm, it's not effortless. It still cuts there. Today, my look ahead is just trash, 9.14. Let's get into the turning style. Mm. I think that this cube is one of the underrated ones. In my 2024 video, I also recommended this. But I also do see that not a lot of people will like this. It has a unique turning style. Let's check the corner cutting. I see that I need a lot of force to make it cut there. Six point sixty-eight. So PL skip saved it there. It would be seven seconds. Getting lucky isn't crime. We all know that. The surface makes a difference, a huge difference, because. Now when I turn this cube, it feels like I'm turning expensive cube. When I close my eyes and I touch the surface, I think that it's like premium cube. Ah, okay, that was, that was my fault. That was my fault. But we still got there, 8.99. This is the same as the previous cube that we unboxed. However, this has dual adjustment system. So that means I turn it and we get the same experience here. However, we do get the dual adjustment system, which I think is extremely necessary. And I think you should spend a couple more dollars for this feature. Trust me, it's worth it. <laughs> Worth it. And the last gift of this unboxing, this is the Meilong 3M V2 UV coated. This surface is so pleasant to touch. Even though I prefer matte finish, it's so pleasant and it's very nice. Wait a minute. Instantly, what I think about this cube is that I would loosen it and add some slow loops because I think it's fast, but at the same time tight. And that combination is a bit weird, you know? You overshoot because the cube is fast, but at the same time you get lockups because the cube is tight. This is really easy cross and that was not intentional. Let's do this. Still not that great time, 8.17, and we have to come to the conclusion. Xena Space Cube, Yushin version 2, Yushin version 1, Yulong V2, Dian Sheng UV coated, Qi MS, Meilong first version, Meilong second version, Meilong V2 UV coated, Arslim V5 standard, Arslim V5 spring tension, Arslim Super 2022, Qi M Pro, and Arslim 2020. So yeah, that's all for today. Until next time.